Hi, my name is William Higgins, and I'm going to do a review and a, a walkthrough of the new Aereo TV service uh, that is available now in my city, Atlanta. And so uh, it was available this month. And basically, Aereo, you can watch real TV, uh, live TV, through a tiny remote antenna, I guess, that they uh, manage for you, and you can control it over the Internet. Uh, so you can change channels, record shows, and they'll uh, provide all this service for you. So it's a very controversial, very new and exciting uh, service for those that are looking to get uh, live TV, local live TV, on a mobile device or just through their computer. Uh, so let's just jump into it. So what you see here is uh, I am running the Aereo application. Uh, it's really uh, not an app per se. It is a, a web app. So it, you would just go to the website. You would authenticate and log in. I've already done that. So we're already looking at the application on my iPad. So as you can see on the left-hand side, there's some featured content of, of shows that are coming up on the networks. But on the right-hand side, we have the channel guide is what I have displayed. And that's a pretty self-explanatory list of all the channels that are in my area. So as you can see, um, I have uh, most of the standard channels that you would expect uh, local TV. So I have ABC, Fox, NBC, PBS, CBS, uh, that we have the CW. And then there's a variety of other kind of uh, network uh, TV. Um, there's what we call My TV in Atlanta. There is an AccuWeather. Um, so there's a few and there's a few religious uh, channels and things like that that uh, t show up on your um, on your network. So, and you can add and remove if you don't want to see all these channels. You can certainly add and remove those in the settings. Um, but uh, for the most part, uh, pretty pretty self-explanatory. You have the guide, and then you have sort of the um, content one on the left. Now, I'm going to go ahead and, and click on, um, I guess, Bloomberg West. This is you know, I'm recording this during the daytime, so I'm not a huge fan of daytime TV on our local network channels. But um, they do have Bloomberg West. And as you can see, I have a couple options. I can either just watch the video or I can record it. And as I mentioned, they have DVR functionality in the, few, in, the, in the cloud, if you will. So if you were to press record, it would actually record that show, but it would be on Aereo servers. And then you can stream that back down to yourself uh, a little later on. So for now, we're just going to go ahead and click watch. And over on the left-hand side, uh, we'll get the actual video screen popped up. And it's the top portion there is pretty typical. You'll get the uh, play uh, button. Since this is iOS, it looks pretty familiar. And oh, look at there, the, the President of the United States is speaking uh, about the economy. So that's great. And um, so as you can see, the video quality, and I've got it on low at the moment, but I can switch it to medium. But for the most part, the quality is fantastic. Um, so far, I haven't really had any issues with the quality I've seen has been um, excellent. And it's all HD and it's streaming to you um, in the widescreen kind of HD format. And um, you have a couple options down at the bottom. Um, you can stop, record, replay, skip, and then there's some social media uh, interactions that you can have. Uh, I can obviously full screen the video. And this may not actually show for you uh, because it's trying using AirPlay. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to um, back to the normal screen since full screen in this particular demonstration is probably not going to work for us uh, the way I'm streaming this uh, this recording. So, but as you can see, it is playing the video. Um, I can uh, stop that video and uh, go back to the guide, and we can select um, another. And I will just select PBS here. I'm a fan of PBS, and I'm going to go ahead and click watch. This is some sort of travel show. Uh, so it'll take a second. It changes that channel, and then gives you the option to play the video. And as you see, it's 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 pretty quick. I mean, you're not having to. Uh, um, you're really not having to wait too long. Um, the streaming may not look as good. Uh, it's not. It's very smooth to me. I think because the the method I'm using to record this and streaming it from my iPad to my PC, you're seeing probably some some delay. Um, so anyway, so I'm just going to pause that, and it gives you the idea that obviously you can uh, scroll here and change channels and whatnot. Now, if I move uh, further down into the application, we have a, a feed here, which is just giving you some curated content, I guess, some, some advice on shows that are coming up that might be worth watching. Uh, obviously, you can, um, you know, click on one of those and I guess, uh, you know, ultimately go record that or, or, or take a look at what that is. Um, there is a, they do have an option for connecting to Facebook, which I am not going to do, could care less about. 
and some search functionality so if you want to obviously search on some keywords you want to search on the office or shows that might be coming up on your network it obviously is searching through the guide to let you know um, what's coming up so that's pretty useful um, and then if we go into if we go into your settings a little um, sort of gear icon there obviously you know we'll go through a series of you know for your account settings and things like that social network linking managing your devices um, I think the the version I have you get up to about five different devices that can authenticate to an account um, and then it has some information about the antenna status so it tells you kind of if you had multiple people using this account so if you had like two iPads or something like that it would tell you um, what antennas are in use uh, it also tells you your DVR storage. So um, that, in effect, um, obviously is pretty self-explanatory as well. Your, uh, the basic service, you're getting 20 hours of DVR service. Uh, and so it, it functions very much like a, a DVR. And so, in fact, that takes us into uh, the recordings tab. And I haven't really recorded anything. Uh, I did uh, Who's Line in Insway last night just to uh, provide something for this demo. Um, as you can see, I had asked it to record uh, record that, and so now I can actually click on it, uh, see some information about it, and, and then obviously I can either protect it so it won't get deleted, uh, or I can delete it from here, and then I can actually um, watch it. So this is obviously not live, but it's uh, we're watching, you know, we can watch this episode that was recorded. So now Aereo is streaming this episode to me, um, you know, via via the network, the internet, and so I can now watch what's been recorded. This was recorded last night, I think, and this is a pretty hilarious show. Uh, so anyway, so I'm going to pause that again and kind of stop that. Uh, and you can see that you have some ways to filter on that uh, by title, whether it's upcoming, something that's going to be recorded. So there's a, a ways, a lot of ways to manage this. So if we go back to the guide. Okay, so that's essentially it. I mean, I can scroll in the future of the guide. Um, let me see if I can find something here that would be worth um, recording. So if I continue to, to move through the guide, um, Ellen DeGeneres, not necessarily, um, you know, hey, okay, Arthur, let's, I have kids, so maybe. Um, so as you can see, I can select something in the future, and it gives me the option to record that. So again, you can kind of see how simple it is. Um, to record. Now, this is interesting because it's a big TiVo. Uh, I'm a TiVo user. I've been for many, many years. And so obviously you're seeing a lot of TiVo-esque uh, type recording functions. So I can either record this one particular episode. I can record every episode, um, all at me, meaning all episodes or, or every new episode. So this is very similar to what you would think about a season's pass in TiVo. So it gives you some of those basic functions as, as well. I'm just going to cancel that because I don't really need to record that at the moment, but it gives you the idea of what that looks like. So, oops, cancel. There we go. And I'm just going to close that out. So, um, well, that's about it. So, I'm going to just record this one episode to kind of get us through this screen. And, um, you know, now that show has been scheduled, and so I can see that under recordings, or I should be able to see that recordings. And it gives me, oh, I'm sorry, gives me just a couple other options if I want to record this, um, you know, on time or start at a different time, and I really don't. So I'm going to try to click that and send it away. Okay. Seems to be kind of keep popping up on me, so. Um, okay. Well, that's really about it. Um, you know, the web interface that you find online is very similar. Uh, so, you know, there's really not much to it in terms of the interface between the, the web and your iPad. It's all running off a, off a web-based application, so it's really no different. So, anyway, um, well, with that, I mean, we'll just, uh, I don't think there was anything else to show. And uh, thank you for watching. And um, so far, I'm pretty pleased with the service. And uh, it's a pretty interesting concept. And we'll see if they can continue to win, uh, win against uh, some of the networks and continue to operate and expand out through the U.S. All right.